So before we begin, I would like to take a quick moment to remind you if you are new to my channel or if you are not already a subscriber, please take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. By you subscribing to my channel, it shows me that you support my videos and at the same time, ding and ring that bell. That way you won't ever have to wonder if I ever posted a video. Hey yo interneters welcome back to another video and today we're going to learn how to do the Twisted Sonic link. So before we begin uh, there are two prerequisites that you need to know. The first one is the Twisted Sonic reversed and for the second one we have the Twisted Sonic and with that being said let's get right into the video. So minute one, or I mean zero, that means I just started practicing this link. So like everything you do in the beginning, it's always hard and funny looking, right? In this clip, you can see that sometime when the pin goes between my middle finger, you see it stutters back a little, right? And that's just purely from my muscle memory from the first combo I learned. And I'll try to link that combo video at the end of this video so you can see what combo I'm talking about. But other than that, you can see that I'm trying to get at least one link move in. So two tricks and link them together smoothly. But uh, you know, I'm struggling. You can see I'm struggling to get it down. But I think eventually I get one in or two or three, right? You can see in the video right there. Uh, yeah, so I got a couple of links in and then after that, we move in on 15 minutes later, me learning these link. I eventually got it down kind of somewhat consistently. You can see me going back and forth, but then I still drop the pin, right? So I'm still inconsistent, but the speed is there and it's looking nice. Uh, after 15 minutes of just learning and I think the reason why I'm learning this link so fast was the combo okay, going back to the combo again uh, it, it's kind of similar in how you perform the combo where you do the twisted sonic into the finger pass that's what helped a lot in this in me learning this link yeah, I'm just trying to get multiple links in at this point I got one kind of down but not really but you know, you just slowly try to build up. You get one down consistently and then you try to build up. And eventually we got to the one hour mark. At the one hour mark, I'm consistently performing, but I still drop the pin every now and then. But you can see that I am getting more sets in, right? I call it sets, like basically two tricks and you do, you perform that smoothly one time and that's like one set, it's like working out. Uh, that's how I see it. So I got, uh, I'm starting to get like three, four times in and every now and then I would drop it here and there, but I'm starting to feel it. Like after an hour, I would say I got this trick down. The only thing is, um, just trying to add more sets I guess you could say in I don't know the terminology in pin spin I'm, I'm, I just started so I'm, I'm still trying to learn everything the terminology the moves or the names of the move you know so forth but yeah at the one hour I would say I got it down but I'm not satisfied yet so at the four hours mark yes I spent close to another two to three hours practicing so that I can add more sets to the trick and have a better mastery at it yeah i know i i must i kind of got it down at one the first hour but i mean you got you gotta get better at it and that's what i wanted so as you can see in the video i'm able to spin the pin for a while and not dropping it as often which is always a good thing uh i was really satisfied with the result at the close to the fourth hour so i stopped uh, practicing there so this linking of the twisted sonic reverse and the twisted sonic was by far the most fun i had in pin spinning especially when i'm learning a trick this was the best hands down for me and you know at the end of the day that's what it's all about to enjoy while learning and that's what i always wanted to do and to push out for others is about having fun when you're learning and learning can be fun as long as you're doing something that you really like in love and that's what I encourage people to do is just push forward and pursue what you want to do in life so I came to realize that I love tricks that can continuously spin forever and what I mean by that it's like having a pin spin trick that's like a loop where you can continuously do the trick over and over and over and basically never stop unless like drop the pin or something 
for this trick I spent the total of 225 minutes close to four hours and dropped the pin 857 times and if you haven't already done so please take a quick moment and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you want to express yourself please hit that like button it tells me that you're enjoying my content and if you have more to express yourself then a thumbs up can really explain or express leave a comment down below you never know you could be missing out on a party if you made it to the end of the video, I want to thank you for watching and please take a quick moment to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll appreciate that a lot.